landscape architect here in North Vancouver. It's late June. We've had a very cold, wet spring. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about secrets to growing nasturtiums. Now I love nasturtiums for a variety of reasons. Number one, and you can see my previous YouTube video on this, nasturtiums are a great companion plant for edibles like these strawberries for example that are right going to be right next to my planted bed of, of nasturtiums. They are great attractants for aphids, a natural biological control. The other reason I love nasturtiums is that they make a great ornamental plant in the garden and this is us early season but I'm starting to line my nasturtiums out over this gravel uh, patio. We've got lavender behind what's going to be a riot of oranges and yellows and reds and then a whole sea of gold rubecchias later on which I'll be showing in later segments of my YouTube video. But I found that nasturtiums aren't always the easiest plant to germinate believe it or not and I'm not alone. So here are the secrets that I've learned to growing nasturtiums. Number one, the seed is actually a very hard coated um, seed and what happens here is that the water can't seem to penetrate this hard coat. So the little trick I use in the spring before I plant is I take the seeds and I plunge them in boiling water, just water that's been boiled and then put in a dish and I put the seed in. Then I let the seed soak for about 48 hours before planting. But I don't direct seed because I find that direct seeding is a hit and miss scenario. I actually put them in pots. And here's an example of a seedling ready to go. The reason I put them in pots is it allows the, 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 the sun and the warmth to heat up the soil and get the, the seeds germinating quickly. The other thing is nasturtiums do not like to be transplanted. So that's why a lot of people direct seed them. But I find that if you take the seed and you, you uh, plant about this size, you transplant about this size, you, size, you don't have a problem with transplanting shock. And there it is. There's the root mass below. Plant is pretty much in a little ball. All I do is take the plant out of its pot, or the seedling out of its pot. I dig a hole into its new place. Nasturtiums don't like rich soil. Now this is a bit rich, but it also has a lot of gravels underneath, so it's free draining, the soil isn't super rich. I basically plant the seedling at the level that it's at, that it was growing in, and put it in its new home. And that's it. That's how you grow nasturtiums. I find I can use them either in the sun or partial shade. They grow just about anywhere once they get started. Now, if you want any more information on growing nasturtiums, edibles, companion plantings, bees, beekeeping, please visit my website at www.sangadesigns.com. Thanks for watching.